COVID-19 has been everyone's focus since the beginning of 2020 and rightly so. However, despite the still ongoing pandemic, we cannot afford to neglect other major global public health issues such as antimicrobial resistance AMR. For this year's European Antibiotic Awareness Day, ECDC is publishing the latest data on antibiotic consumption. Between 2015 and 2019, the total consumption of antibiotics in humans in the EU EEA decreased by about 10%, although it varied widely depending on the country. And between 2019 and 2020, there was a further decrease by more than 15% mostly in primary care and most likely as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Although further analyses are needed to better understand the reasons for this decrease and whether it will have an impact on AMR, this is definitely good news. Nevertheless, AMR remains a serious challenge in the EU EEA and we need to keep up our efforts. More than half of the Escherichia coli infections reported to ECDC in 2020 and more than a third of the Klebsiella pneumonia infections were resistant to at least one antimicrobial group under surveillance and combined resistance to several antimicrobial groups was frequent. Resistance to last-line antibiotics such as the vancomycin and carbapenems is a major issue. There is still time to turn the tide and ensure that options for the treatment of infected patients will be available in the future. We need to act together. First, we should all use antibiotics prudently. Prudent use means only using antibiotics when they are needed, with the correct dose, dosage intervals and duration of the treatment. Second, we need to ensure that good infection prevention and control practices starting with improving compliance with hand hygiene, are implemented, in particular in hospitals and in long-term care facilities. Third, we need to promote research and development of new antibiotics with novel mechanisms of action, as resistance in bacteria inevitably builds up over time. We need leaders and leading organizations, but in the end, the solution is as simple and with that as difficult as this. Everyone is responsible for addressing antimicrobial resistance. We are all, and this includes you and me, responsible because we sometimes suffer from infections and are therefore potential users of antibiotics. We are often the parents of children that suffer infections and are also the potential users of antibiotics. And since antibiotics are used not only to treat infections in humans, but also in food animals and in companion animals, we need to continue tackling this issue in a One Health approach. If we want to turn the tide on AMR, we only can do this together all of us. Join us in the fight to keep antibiotics working.